I just hope one of them doesn't hit us because I've been told this can kill you if it hits you. It's almost like a a dangerous mini game where you run around and see how much of it you can pick up before it disappears without getting killed. Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, hopefully we don't crash. <laughs> I've been I've been having a lot of crashing problems uh, once again uh, with the game, um, and so I've had to dial down my uh, my frame rate, and hopefully uh, that will fix it because I was having similar problems in the early access version of the game. It mostly, but not all the time, but it mostly seems to happen at my base, you know, where we have a bunch of stuff happening all at once. So fact of the matter is I've actually already re already recorded this episode um, but then it, it crashed and I, I lost it and the reason I lost it is because it it crashed my entire machine I mean not just a desktop I mean reboot and when that happens even if you're using the MKV recording format which I do you you still lose the recording so uh, it's very frustrating um, this game and my computer don't get along real well unfortunately don't have this problem with other games like I can play in Shrouded for hours on end with zero uh, stability or performance issues but this game and my computer they don't like each other uh, so it is what it is and we're gonna just you know try and remember to save often and and start over from here and keep going um, you guys haven't missed anything in terms of the continuity of this series this is indeed the next episode after the last episode but it's just that I had recorded like a whole bunch of footage um, in preparation for this episode and I lost all of it. So I have to start over. Um, and I guess I'm just letting you know that because you might notice a difference in the, in the quality. You may not, might not though either. Cause the, the videos are already 60 frames per second anyways on YouTube, which is, which is what I have it to now. I was on 120 cause it's so much smoother. And, um, there, there's a couple things that I've already done that I now have to redo. So I might get a little confused about that as we go along. So I'm just kind of letting you know what's happening. Okay, so anyway, enough about that. Um, hopefully, you know, the crashes don't happen um, with the downgrading of the, the frame rate. It does suck for me, though, because I can tell a big difference. You know, when I when I pan across the screen, everything is just a lot more choppier, uh, not as smooth as it was. But what can you do? We can't have the game crashing on us, especially if it's crashing my whole fucking computer, like all the way restart the whole goddamn thing, which is what it was doing. So we can't have that. Not good. All right. Anyway, let's uh, let's proceed. So we are very close to the nuclear f fusion generator. That's going to pop, um, you know, within a couple more minutes, probably. And so what we need to do first is we need to go get some um, pulsar quartz crystals uh, to power this thing, because I'm going to make that. Um, and then later on, most likely what will happen in the episode is the tier to uh, two ore extractor will um, open up for us. And uh, then we're going to want to also make that and go set it over in the super alloy cave, which is way over there uh, by where my cursor is, so we can start producing super alloy. Now, I can also um, create super alloy, and I, and we're going to need to, you know, f through here just from the basic ores. Um, that didn't, for whatever reason, didn't occur to me in the last episode, um, last two episodes when I started talking about, you know, how we're running out of it. If you guys left me comments, I have not seen those yet because uh, I am a few episodes ahead of you guys. But yeah, that is an option for us too. So um, with that being said, let's get started by going on a little expedition to grab some uh, quartz crystals. So we want to take, um, let's actually take two waters and we'll top ourselves off. We don't have to go that far, uh, but we'll, we have to go a little ways. We have to go over by the Stargate. That's the nearest quartz crystal cave to us. There's another one also at the crater, but that's even further out than, uh, than where we are now. Uh, let's also top our food off. Um, we'll eat one of those and we'll take one with us. It's okay. So we have two O2s, two waters, extra food. I think, uh, I think we're ready to go. Let's do it. I think too, when we start setting up the fusion generators, uh, I'm going to put down some foundations to put them on. I don't need to do that, but I want to do that just to kind of make things look a little neater. 
So we'll plan to do that. In case anybody's wondering, yes, my graphics drivers are completely up to date with the latest version. And again, I don't have this issue with other games. It's just this game, so... It's, I don't think it's my computer directly. It's my computer combined with this game that the that's the problem. And it sucks. I'm not going to lie. I'm not very happy about it, but what can you do? All right. The Pulsar Quartz Cave is right down here. Uh, there's also going to be some Oz and Sulfur in here as well, but we want to focus on the Pulsar first because that's the main reason why we're coming in here right now. And the cave does branch off left and right further down. Um, let's leave the Osmium until later. I guess we have a piece right here. We can also pick some of this off the ground in the sil silver alien biome too. Um, as another option. Okay, let's wait on that chest until we make sure we've mined all of the quartz. Pulsar Quartz. There's a piece there. Another chest also. That's good. Alright, so that gives us a total of seven. I think that's all that's in this cave. Alright, let's grab the Oz next and then we'll check the chests. I'm going to leave the Sulfur for now. Because that's uh, easier to obtain. I think there's another couple of pieces of Oz up back up this way. For those of you who don't know either, I'm, I'm running a pretty high-end machine. Um, I've got a an Intel i9 uh, f uh, 40, uh, 4900K, whatever, whatever their top processor is. Um, and I also have um, a Radeon 7900 XTX, which is the top Radeon card. Uh, well, at least the top consumer card, not like the really crazy $3,000 ones. Um, so it's not, you know, it's not a lack of power on my machine. I got, you know, SSD drives and 64 gigabytes of RAM and all that kind of stuff. So, all right, let's take the fertilizer. So it, again, it's just some combination of my hardware and this game that doesn't get along real well. It's very frustrating, you know, <laughs> very frustrating. Okay, we'll take the rocket engine and the supers. Uh, the rest of that stuff is, it's okay. I mean, actually, I want the Lerma seed. We need that to make the plants rockets. And, yeah, I think we're going to leave the rest of that and maybe pick up some sulfur to top off on the way out here. There we go. Okay, so the fusion generator has now unlocked. That will make it as soon as we get back home. It's a beautiful thing. And one more slot. Grab that sulfur. Um, we could go ahead and drink this water to get even one more slot. And aside from, you know, a couple of those basic things we left in the chest and maybe one or two more sulfur, we have cleaned out that cave. Oh, I want this Arima flower too. Um, let's take this now. And we're just going to go straight back to this shack and then straight to the base. Since we don't have our O2 capsule on us and I don't have room to make one. Or pick up cobalt to make one without dropping this other stuff. So yeah, we're kind of breaking the rules a little bit, but we're, we're doing it because we know we have a clear and clean and safe path back to the base. 
So when I say there's no exceptions to those rules, I'm really lying to you. There are exceptions. But they have to be sensible exceptions, like in this case. Because there's not really any... Well, you know what we could do, I guess? We could eat the beans. And temporarily drop the Lerma Seed. Make the capsule. There, now we're following the rules. Everybody happy now? <laughs> I'm happy. That's the thing about rules in real life. Real life isn't black and white. I don't care. Some of you might think that, and I disagree with you if you do. There's just, there's always exceptions. That's just the way life works. The question is, is if there, when there is an exception to a rule in real life, is it justified? Does it make sense? And of course, that can be subjective, so yeah, it gets messy. Life is messy. Guys didn't notice that. Life gets really messy. Okay. Put all that stuff in there. We'll put all this stuff in here. Uh, let's let's make a, a new... Here, let's save first. <laughs> I don't trust this game, man. Not anymore. Uh, let's make a, a thingy for a storage thing for quartz pulsar quartz because we're going to start needing it a lot for the rest of the playthrough. Uh, quartz. We'll just pop those in there for the moment. We'll put the Zeo in here. We'll put the rocket in here. We should do a plants rocket too, so I think I'm going to leave the Lerma seed available for that. Um, and for that matter, we're going to, I think we need a, we'll need one fertilizer, a Lerma seed. Ah, oh, shit, I can't remember. We're going to have to run out there and look. Uh, the rest of that stuff goes over here. Let's grab some more bark and keep cycling that. We'll stick the sulfur in here. We can make some more ferts later. I have been making fertilizer, as you can see. Oh, you know what else I wanted to do? I wanted to move... Actually move this bin back a little bit. So it's all the way up against the wall. Just to maximize space, because things are going to get tight in here later. I like to put all of my DNA manipulators and incubators and stuff in this room, just because it's the right room for it. So we're going to really need to maximize space. But yeah, that's a nice little collection of fertilizer there. All right, let's save the game. Got a nice little gentle rainstorm going on out here. I just love that. It's so amazing. Considering what this planet looked like when we started, you know? Okay, so let's um, grab some iron. One, two, three. Uh, yeah, let's grab four iron. We need five of these, two, three, four, five. And we need four of these, one, two, three, four. Right? Let's double check. Yes, cool. Oh, let's look at something else too before we put this down. Before and after comparison of power. So right now we're at 69 kilowatts of power. I think what we'll do is we'll start our foundations here. Uh, yeah. Don't like that the grass is sticking up through them, but I can't do anything about that if we're going to keep it in this spot, which we are. Okay, now, we're going to try and get this more or less in the center. There is a little seam I can see there. Um, it's easier to see in the sunlight. And there's 
a seam I can see on on the other axis too. Okay. That's pretty damn close. It's very close. Close enough. Close enough. Yeah. So each time we put one of these down, as time goes on, we'll just plop it down in the center of the foundation. Again, you can put those straight on the ground. You don't have to put them on foundations, but I think it looks cooler. So it's neater. Super. Okay, let's save the game. We had 69 kilowatts of power before. We now have 1,554. Huge, huge boost. Almost 1,000 kilowatts of power boost there. Um, no, almost 1,400. Almost 1,500. Yeah, 54, 69. Yeah, almost 1,500 kilowatts of power increase. That's going to last us for a while, but not forever because stuff gets more expensive, of course, as we progress. Awesome. Okay, so we've got our first fusion generator down. we got lots and lots of power for a while. Um, the next thing we want to do is we want to get this thing to unlock. We are getting close uh, for that to happen. I wish I had a pressure fuse. I've got a heat and two oxy fuses, which we might actually want to do something with. But I think the next thing we're going to do is launch a plants rocket for a biomass boost. Um, and I'm going to have to fly out to the rocket. Pl uh, launch platform to determine that and looks like we also need to do another overflow bin so let's put one of those right here and we'll call this overflow five all right let's top off our food all of those and put them in here the eat one let's do another save okay we're gonna fly out to the rocket pin the recipe for the plants rocket or seeds rocket whichever one it is and then we're gonna go over there and grab a batch of algae on the way on the return trip uh, which will turn into more fertilizer now, we also have, I believe we've unlocked the gas extractor too, and we need to put that down to start making methane so that we can make um, mutagen. So that, that'll be the next thing we're gonna shoot for after we get the tier two extractor set up in the super os osmium cave, or su super osmium, what the hell am I talking about? Uh, we want this guy here, yeah, plant rocket. It's a biomass thingy. Okay. Um, actually, while we're here, let's top off our O2. Let's nab this chest. Okay. Uh, that's good. Yeah, we need all that stuff. We'll take it. Might as well look in this one too. Good stuff. Now we're not going to have room for algae. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, where are you? We haven't been inside of here for a while. How deep is this? Oh, it's not deep at all. All right, well, we'll just grab as many algae as we have room to grab. Two more. Okay. We'll stick all that in there. We'll put the fertilizer in there. We should probably make uh, an explosive powder and a bioplastic bin. Does that start stuff's going to start? Yeah, we got quite a few bioplastic already there. Zeolite can go there. Uranium rod is good because we need that to make a, a machine optimizer. And we got a little batch of super alloy, which is fantastic. 
Aluminum bin's full, so we'll put uh, this in here. Let's grab three, one, two, three. Some more iron. Oh, geez, man. Overflow. <laughs> Yeah, we need, that's right, we need a seeds bin too. Remember, I've already done all this stuff and then I lost all, all the recording, so we're redoing it. Okay, so this was um, food seeds two. Oh, do we have our first super storm? We do. Okay. Um, We are going to go out there now. We gotta grab this stuff immediately because it disappears within like two minutes of the storm starting. Um, in 1-0. It didn't do that before, but it does now. Aw, oh, crap. Okay. Let's just get the stuff that's easiest to get because we don't have much time. This also happened, um, in the recording that I lost. And I had a few people telling me, hey, they don't last very long, and I kept telling them, yes, it does last a a really long time, but that was that's no longer the case in 1-0. It most definitely does not last more than about two minutes. And I think that two minute timer starts when the you know when the um, storm itself starts. I just hope one of them doesn't hit us because I've been told this can kill you if it hits you. these over here it's almost like a a dangerous mini game where you run around and see how much of it you can pick up before it disappears without getting killed <laughs> okay keep going there's a piece right here gonna be it's harder to see in the in the grass do we have any that landed on our our base yeah there's a piece right there um some of it went down into the canyon I think I know some of it landed over here yep see it just disappeared Hurry, hurry! That's probably... Here we go. There's a piece right there. Piece... Oh, that one just disappeared like a millisecond before I went to pick it up. Uh, that's probably going to be it. water is not deep enough okay well we almost completely filled up let's open this up oh look at that a pressure fuse oh nice 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 and a mushroom seed too all right i'll come back and get this stuff because obviously we don't have room for it all right yeah so it is confirmed at least in my mind that uh super storms do not last more than about two minutes from about the time they start well i i don't know exactly how that works i think it's two minutes probably from the time that the the little ore impacts to when it disappears it's right around two minutes regardless you have very very oh there we go very very little time to do it but that was beautiful look at all this you guys oh man i love it okay Let's save the game because I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to lose all that super alloy. Uh, we're gonna do something with this pressure thing very quick, but I want to plant the mushroom seed first. Um, we're gonna need lots of mushrooms for bioplastic. Um, uh, don't think I want to pick all those eggplant just yet. 
Actually, we're going to eat both of those to top off our food since we have such an excess of it. Fantastic. All right. So our tier two extractor has now become available. And we have a bunch of super alloy to make it because I believe it's going to require a super alloy rod. Yes, it does. So that means eight supers plus an aluminum. Let's do that first. Uh, where did I put those? Okay, so there's five. Um, six, seven, eight, and we need an aluminum. Boom, baby. All right, we needed... Um, what else do we need? We need three Oz's. One, two, three. Do we have another one coming? Uh, no, I think this is just a purple storm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just a purple storm. I was going to say, my goodness, I have had them happen almost back to back like that before, though. Kind of cool looking. We have everything we need for the extractor. Why don't we also save our, uh, or make, maximize our trip, and we'll also do the plants rocket too. So we need that, we need that, we need the Lerma seed, a bark, and two more supers. That was timely. Okay, so we have everything we need also for the rocket. Uh, we need an O2 in our inventory. Let's go. This is cool looking, man. We get purple storms, we get orange storms, we get yellow storms. Uh, bl we get blue storms when the um, osmium happens. Colorful. Do a save. Okay, our first plant rocket. Thousand percent boost in biomass. There she is. Bon voyage. Should we try and knock it over? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and it's off. We didn't knock it all the way over, though. Let's head over to the super cave. Should have enough O2 to get over there. This little spot here is going to be real pretty when everything comes in. It's super neat. We already set up a shack here, as you can see, with this, uh, the first storage bin in preparation for this moment. So we're good to go there. Let's do another game save. And we should be able to just plop this down right here. And it's going to get super. Also, the Tier 2s have larger containers as well, which is really nice. These drills are cool looking. Fantastic. Okay. Tier two extractor. That might be our screenshot. Um, let's, let's get rid of the pin. Get rid of the HUD. There we go. Nice little milestone. We have an empty inventory. Why don't we see if we can 
grab some crates on the way back. Oh, you know what? There's a satellite over here. That's right. Let's hit that. I could have some good stuff in it. Um, we also have a zeolite we can nab. Ooh, pressure fuse. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. And the water is now coming down into the wetlands or the lowlands. I've heard somebody else call this area the lowlands. This is going to look really pretty down here when everything comes in. Okay, let's see if we can find some crates to loot on the way back. There's one right down here. And get some more goodies. Okay, basic stuff, but useful. Nothing to write home to mother about. We already looted that ship, right? I'm pretty sure we did. We went back in and got all the crates out of it. Pretty sure we did that. We still can go back in there later to get the servers for circuit boards and... Um... And, and then even later than that, you know, do the, the fusion reactor, which will open up the big safes in there, which has really good stuff. But that's a ways out yet. I know I'm saving a lot, but until I am convinced that my new settings have fixed or at least reduced the crashing issue, uh, I will be saving a lot. <laughs> That's just all there is to it. Okay, so I guess what we can do is just grab another load of algae. That way, again, we're maximizing our travel time. Uh, I don't remember any crates over there necessarily. Much, yeah, we got room for quite a few of these actually. We do have, um, I think, uh, yeah, there we go. Inventory's full. I think we have a plants fuse, so we should we should try and decide if we should pop a plants fuse down by these guys, which are doing eighteen point four gs. Or plop it down by our tier two flower spreaders. Thirty-four point eight. Yeah, definitely want to do it on the flower spreaders, as opposed to the algae thingies. Let's put all this algae up here. Um, anything else go up here? Yes, the fertilizer does. And I don't think anything else goes up here. Got a couple things to put away in here. More bean seeds, that's good. And we have a pastera. We don't have a lot of lermas. Those are actually more valuable than the higher level flowers from the standpoint of you need them to make the rockets and things. So yeah. Do we have any more new bark coming in? Yep. Okay. Let's keep refreshing that and building up the supply. All right. Let's save. Uh, we got some more supers to put away, which is good. Throw those in there. And we have, once again, a surplus of super alloy. It's a nice problem to have. Oh, that's one of my favorite scenes, isn't it? Nice problem to have. Uh, we'll put this in here. And this can go in here. Two aluminum and an iron. Uh, we'll put the, that in there, this in here. Okay. So, the next order of business is... We have a heat. 
Oh, you know what? No, I don't have a plants fuse. You know, I think I found one in the last in the recording that I lost. That's why I was thinking I had one. Shit. <laughs> okay, we have oxygen fuses. Uh, let's take a look and see what we want to prioritize. So the only other thing pressure is going to get us is the tier three ore extractor, but that's um a long ways off. But it probably would be worth it for us to boost, um to boost it, for sure. Um, the heat's going to give us the tier two machine optimizer, but it's still moving along pretty good. Um, and that's not super, that's not as important for us to get yet as this is, I, I don't think. Uh, the tier two tree spreader is quite a ways off. This is a little ways off. Let's look at the uh, biomass stuff. 35T. Okay, that's a bit of a ways off. 80T. Yeah, that's a long ways off, but. We, we should probably really start turning our focus towards biomass and plants in particular, because once we can get the beehive opened up um, and and the, the high quality food opened up, then we can start making high quality food and uh, which is both good for us. And eventually we can even sell it the excess, too. But I think I think I really want to take advantage of these two pressure fuses. Um, just to really get that cranking up. All right, so that means we need to make two more of these. Let's pin that. So a total of four explosive powder. Let's we'll start with those. There's one there, so we just need three more. That means we need three pieces of iridium. One, two, three, and six sulfur. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, good. We're going to need two uranium rods. Four, uh, four iron. And two cobalt. Okay, so right now, our pressure is... at 79,216 NPAs. So if you just figure 79,000 and 0.2, 2, 79.2,000. Um, okay, so we're gonna put one of you right here and one of you right here. All right, let's go back and see what it says now. So we're at 79.2 thousand. Now we are at 740.176 thousand. Huge boost. Well, actually it was a thousand percent boost because we those were both 500 percent uh, fuses. Nice. Okay, so that should get us, this is moving like crazy now. Um, so that should get us to this tier three ore extractor sooner rather than later, uh, which is just amazing. Um, that's 1.85, yeah, you know what? I don't think we need to really worry about boosting heat, at least for the sake, we need to boost heat for the TI, but for the sake of just getting this, that's not that far off. Um, so I think our focus now should be on biomass. Um, we really need to start cranking that out. Did I make this tier three XO? I didn't. Let's make that. Maybe that's something else I did and then lost the footage for. I don't remember. Or maybe we were going to make it and we decided we couldn't because we didn't have the super. That's probably what happened. Okay, so we need two Oz's and a uranium. We're going to need eight supers and an aluminum to make the rod. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Right? Yeah. Okay. And then let's make the tier three XO. Open up another slot down here. That's amazing. 
We're not too far off from the air filter. In fact, it's the next thing that we'll unlock when we hit uh, two point or, or two GTI. And what that does is that for those of you who don't know, is that allows us uh, our oxygen lasts longer. That, that's what it does. Yeah. All right, you guys. Well, we got through the whole episode without a crash, so that's a good sign. But again, I don't fully, <laughs> fully trust the game yet. Uh, you know, we'll have to go a little bit longer, but it does seem to be a little more stable than it was before that. And uh, again, it's unfortunate, you know, it sucks, but I'd rather have a stable game with not quite as, you know, uh, smooth as baby's butt frame rate than the other way around. Uh, for sure, especially when it's crashing my entire machine, which it was doing. Um, So next episode, I think we're going to... Yeah, we just don't have any fusions for plants. You know what I think we're going to probably end up doing then is... Uh, maybe we'll launch two more plants rockets. Um, you know, to boost it that way. But I think we're going to just go out and start looking for more chests uh, in hopes to finding uh, a plants fuse specifically and then whatever other good stuff that we can get. Uh, so, with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.